What's going on everyone? My name is Kyle and today we're going to be talking about automating your Facebook ad leads using Zapier. So in my last video we talked about Facebook lead ads and how important um, they can be to a business whether it's you're just affiliate marketing for another business or um, you're getting leads for your own products um, and services. If you haven't seen that video I'll put a link down in the description but basically Facebook lead ads are great for um, gathering people's information and then using that later down the line um, to promote products or services. So once you have the Facebook leads in Facebook, you have to make sure that you contact um, those users as quickly as possible. Uh, there was a Harvard study, I'll link it down below, but basically it showed that businesses that contacted um, their leads uh, within the first like five minutes, they had 60 times the results um, of getting uh, paying customers versus other companies that did it like waited longer, you know, over a day um, or even over, you know, five hours. Uh, the longer you wait, the less likely they're going to convert into paying customers. So it's essential that you're able to get back to them right away once they fill out their information, you know, their email, uh, and their name. So that can be difficult because, you know, obviously you have your own life to live. You can't just be sitting on your computer waiting for someone to fill out this ad and then immediately run over to, you know, your email account and send them uh, a follow-up email or, you know, send them that ebook that you promised them in the advertisement or whatever it may be um, that got them to give you their email. So in order to deal with that issue of having to, you know, follow up with these leads so quickly, but that can take a lot of time and waiting around, um, there's an application that I found called Zapier. And I'll have a link for that in the description down below. Um, I'm not affiliated with it, but I think it's a great application that you guys should definitely check out. Um, it's crazy how much you can do with this application and I'll be going into it a lot deeper because there's just so much you can do. But the best thing I think with the app right now um, is that it allows you to automate emails directly from your Facebook lead ads. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So if you don't want to pay for Zapier, um, they have a free version and you can do a ton of stuff with it, but it won't allow you um, to utilize their Facebook lead ads software um, because that's, I, I'd imagine, much more difficult um, for them to figure out. So I think it's about 20 bucks um, a month to set this up. Uh, so it really saves you a ton of time um, and, and stress trying to follow up with these you know, leads that you're getting on your Facebook ads. Uh, and also, because they're getting that instantaneous response, they're going to be much more receptive um, to whatever you're getting them um, or if you decide to you know, upsell or you know, sell them a certain product later on down the line. So first thing we do in Zapier is we create a new Zap, they call it, uh, and then we have to decide what the trigger is going to be. Um, so for Facebook lead ads, the trigger is going to be when someone fills out the lead page, right, with their email and their name. So we go here. I already have mine set up here because I was messing around with this earlier, but uh, you could go and just search Facebook lead ads and it would come up right there. You click on that and that's the trigger for this whole um, system to set up. Uh, and basically this whole system is a if this then that system, meaning that if this happens, so if this trigger is set, then that happens or an email is sent or whatever you want to happen after um, that first trigger is set off. So the trigger is Facebook lead ads trigger and then we can just save and continue because that's what our trigger is. Um, you will connect your Facebook lead account. So whatever account, uh, advertising account you're using for the Facebook leads, you're going to connect that with Zapier. I've already connected mine, but all you would have to do is click the button to connect an account, and then it would have a pop-up, and you just click accept uh, and sign into Facebook. So I have that done, save and continue, and then you can set up your different options. Uh, the first one is clicking the page from which you're sending the ads from. Uh, for this example, I'm just using my personal uh, Kyle Dunning page 
that I have online. And then you can add uh, the form that people are filling out. So I made a couple different forms the other day. I'll use this one for the example, and that's the one that I want Zapier to use. And so I have that set up, press continue. Then this uh, page pops up and I just make sure that everything's connected properly. You just press connect and continue, just make sure that everything's connected properly. Uh, so the test is successful, then you can just click continue. And then the trigger is all set up. So now we need to tell Zapier what action we want when something triggers them, right? So the trigger set up, we go into the action segment and then we can set up a ton of different things, right? Uh, for leads, we usually want to send them a follow-up email because they're giving us their email. No matter what, either you're sending them a follow-up just saying, thank you for signing up, uh, we'll get back to you shortly, or you know, here's a coupon code, or here's your uh, you know, ebook, or whatever you're giving them, you're usually gonna send them an email right away. So it's vital that you do that. What you can do, you can link it with any uh, email service. I think it's hilariously easy that you can set it up with your Gmail account. So you can just set up a work Gmail account or business Gmail account, uh, click, all you have to do is click Gmail, and then you can create the email and what actions you want to for Gmail to send to your customers. So the first thing we have to do is tell Gmail what action we want it to take. So once the Facebook lead ad is triggered, we go to, we want to create uh, an email and send an email to that person, right? So we create and send a new message. Uh, and there's a ton of different options uh, that you can scroll through if you're looking for more, but we'll just go with that for now. And then we connect an account uh, through your, you know, a Gmail account. I have my business account already connected. I would set up a business account just so you're not emailing a ton of people from your personal account because then your personal account is out there and you don't want people to you know, be bothering you on that. So you have your business account. It's a professional account, a professional name. Mine is contactkyledenning at gmail.com. You don't want it to be you know, something weird like, oh, I love motorcycles and eating McDonald's at gmail.com. You want something that is specific to your business so that they recognize it. So when they receive it, they know to open it and download whatever you're giving them. You connect that up, save and continue. And now we're at the setting up the template for the email stage. So what you can do is add the test email for whoever you're sending it to. So this will fill in with the email from the Facebook trigger. So I have that set up and then I can also do these other advanced options. I can CC someone, uh, maybe, you know, whatever you need to uh, do for uh, your specific email. You can change the from address. I just leave mine as default because I already set it up with my business account. But if you didn't have that done, you could uh, add in a different email. And then you can make your specific message. So now that we have the message done, you can come down, you can even add attachments. So if you're sending an ebook, it's easy. You can just add the attachment um, to the email you're sending out. And then you can go down here and then press continue. When you press continue, it'll check to make sure everything's valid. Um, everything was valid. You can come up here and see the sample email, make sure everything looks good, and then come down and send test to Gmail. If you wanna make sure that the email is looking properly on people's web browsers, you can add in a, uh, for the test, you can add in your personal email address and then it'll send it to you and then you can you know, look it over and make sure everything looks proper. Uh, if not, all the test is gonna do is just make sure that it it's, can send out properly. Um, and then all you have to do is press finish at the end. And then you can go and name the zap, whatever you want. Um, to make sure that you, you can find it easy if you need to adjust it. So this is great because it makes it super easy to send emails to these new leads, but what would be even better is not only having the email sent out, but having some type of list made from all of these um, new Facebook leads that you're getting. Uh, so another thing that you can do is not only just one action, but you can add in a second action 
And then for this second action, you can go in and connect it with Google Sheets, uh, which is basically Excel on Google if you haven't heard of it. And essentially what you can do is have them create a new row in the sheet and then um, put in the information that the Facebook lead gathered. Uh, so what all you do is click create uh, spreadsheet row and then save and continue. Connect it with uh, your Gmail account that's connected to Google Sheets that you want to use. I already have it connected to my contact Kyle Denning at gmail.com account. Continue on and then I can go and choose a specific spreadsheet that I would like to utilize um, you know, for all of the leads. So I'll go to, I already set one up. If you, don't have, if you don't have one set up, you have to go set it up yourself. It won't create one for you. Um, so set it up, create headings that you would like um, to use. That makes it a lot easier. So uh, all I have on my lead page uh, where people are filling out is just their full name and their email address. I didn't ask any more uh, information, but if you did, you could just make more columns for that. So I just have those two. So I'll click on that spreadsheet, email leads, FB, that's what I've called it. And then I can go click on sheet one. I only have one sheet. After you click sheet one, the headers will pop up that you've input on your Excel sheet. So all you do, I, I, so the headers on my Excel sheet are full name and email. So I just go over, press this add button, and then I wanna connect it to the new lead because uh, that's the trigger. Press new lead and then you can go down to full name because I want the full name to go under the full name column on the Excel sheet. And then for email, you do the same thing. Just go to Facebook, new lead, and then you can come down to email, click that, and that should be good. You click continue, it's all set up. You can now um, send a test to your Google Sheets account and it will show you, uh, make sure that it's inputting it in the correct positions. Uh, I did it before and it worked perfectly uh, and super quick. It put it in there within seconds of me even setting the test. And once you do that, all you have to do is finish up. Obviously go look to make sure it worked out properly. And then at the end of all of this, just make sure that you turn on these zaps that they call it and then you should be all set. You don't have to worry about going in and waiting and making sure that you contact these new leads right away. They'll be automatically saved in the spreadsheet and they'll automatically get a response from your Gmail personal account or business account, whatever you have set up, uh, which will greatly improve um, the response you get from these new leads that you are generating from Facebook. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love this new app, uh, Zapier, that I found. I'm not sure if it's new or not, but it's new to me. Uh, and I've been messing around with it for a little bit now. And it's just super cool, all the nice um, automation features uh, that you can use in a variety of apps. So definitely go check it out. Um, I recommend it. And you can connect it with a bunch of uh, different applications as well, which is helpful. Um, so yep, yeah, go check it out. It helps a lot. And I hope this helps you with your Facebook lead ads and not having to spend so much time trying to reach out to them. And you'll get a better response because it's getting them, um, the emails are getting to them so quickly.